welcome to ESC TV. Today we're talking about the Hotlines 2 late-breaking clinical trial session and we're lucky to have with us Professor Sten Robertson from Uppsala University and Uppsala University Hospital in Sweden. Professor Robertson, welcome. Um, obviously you'll be presenting results from uh, a comparison of conventional adult out-of-hospital cardiopulmonary resuscitation against a concept with mechanical chest compressions and simultaneous defibrillation or the LINK study. So perhaps if you could begin by giving us a little bit of background to your approach to this and what questions you were trying to answer. Well, we all know that manual uh, chest compressions are difficult to perform during CPR. Um, you should push hard, you should push fast, and we know that already after two minutes, about uh, 20 to 30 percent of the uh, chest compressions are effective. And that's why mechanical chest compression devices have been developed over the years. And um, we therefore wanted to evaluate um, a concept, you can say, with a mechanical chest compression device called Lucas, together with defibrillation during on ongoing chest compressions versus um, manual CPR according to guidelines. And so what were your findings from the study? Well, our primary objective was to show an uh, improved or better four-hour survival in the group uh, used with the uh, mechanical device strategy uh, compared to this other treatment. And um, we didn't find any difference between the groups. Uh, there was 23.6% uh, for our survival in the group uh, treated with the mechanical chest compression device algorithm versus 23.7% in the manual group. However, we lo also looked at secondary outcome variables as um, survival until all the way up to six months after, after the cardiac arrest with good neurological outcome. And, um, well, we had 8.5% uh, uh, survival in the mechanical group and 7.6% in the uh, manual group. However, that was not st statistically different between the groups. So what do you think is the future role for mechanical chest compression? <clears throat> well, I think this study at least gives evidence that we have uh, scientific support to use mechanical chest devices, at least when you do it uh, with ongoing uh, compressions and defibrillation. And um, that we didn't have before. Hmm. So now we are allowed at least to have that as an option in the treatment of cardiac arrest. And also to further develop um, how to treat patients in cardiac arrest. Uh, me personally, I think that in the future it might be so that we will develop individual treatment, uh, more or less like a customized care, uh, instead of having algorithms where you, for example, do defibrillation and check for rhythm every second minute. There are now today technology available so you can read through the compressions and see the EKG underneath. And through that you can evaluate what is going on and maybe find the optimal timing for doing an intervention, for example. And that I think is easier to pursue if you have mechanical devices. So for me, it gives me an opportunity to con continuously develop this. ESC Congress 365 is your free access to ESC Congress content all year long.